Once gating has been performed in gate logic, the data can be graphed and analysed in graph logic. In graph logic, we have the file inspector to the left of the spreadsheet workspace, which sits below the graph workspace. Samples listed in the file inspector can be highlighted and dragged directly into the workspace. And here I am dragging samples in, in their experimental groups. Once the samples have been added to the workspace, highlight the data itself, and then use the options available in the gate, statistic and parameter drop-down lists to define the statistic to be displayed. You will have noticed that when samples are dragged into the workspace, a table template is created. Here, I am renaming the table title and updating the group names. The group and column names can also be renamed using options in the right-click menu. To rename in this method, highlight the group or the column titles, right-click and choose Set Group Name or Set Column Name, and choose the relevant keyword to rename the titles. These titles can also be renamed using a CSV file. In addition to adding additional groups of data, which is imported to the first available row below the table, data can be added to existing groups by dragging it to the first available column in the relevant group. This will append and continue the naming of the columns. And at any stage, data can be cleared by selecting it, right-clicking, and choosing Clear Selected. Above the workspace, in the toolbar, there are various formatting tools. These enable cells and text to be coloured, and text can be aligned to the left, right or centre. The font type, size and style can be set, along with the number of decimal places. Multiple cells can be merged, and merged cells can be split. The number of technical replicates can also be defined. The power of graph logic is that the data in the tables is linked to the FCS files, and so any adjustment or change to the gates in gate logic will automatically update the values in the tables in graph logic. At any stage, it is possible to review the origin of the data in a table by firstly highlighting it and then choosing the gate option from the display drop down list. To set the replicate number, Highlight the data and then choose the replicate number from the replicate drop down list, and this will provide a mean value for the defined number of replicates. One of the best time saving features of graph logic is the ability to be able to copy and paste and effectively replicate these data tables. As the data remains linked to the FCS file, replicated tables can be set to display a new statistic. So in this example, I have set up one table for my CD45 positive percentage of parent statistic. But now I have replicated it two more times. I can change the statistic to show my granulocyte population and also my monocyte population. Once I've changed the titles, all I have to do is highlight the data itself and choose the new gate from the drop down menu and you'll see the values in the tables update immediately. Even though the second and third tables were copies of the original table, every data point remains linked to the FCS file, and so moving one gate will update values in each of the copied and pasted tables. Now I am displaying one statistic for three populations, but I can follow the same procedure by copying and pasting all of these tables and then highlighting all of the data at once and selecting a new type of statistic. So firstly I will update the title and then I will select all of the data points starting at the first data point in the top table and then from the statistic drop down menu choose the event count. I am able to create formulae, for example, to add this cell with this cell. And to do this, type equals in an empty cell. Click on the first cell and this will start to build the formula. Then, type in plus 
and then select the second cell and then press enter. And you will see the result in the destination cell and also the formula in the formula field. I can also copy this formula by right clicking on the cells, selecting copy, highlighting the destination cells and clicking paste. And you can see the corresponding cells in each column have now been added. There is also a paste transpose option used to change the orientation of data from horizontal to vertical and vice versa. Not only is it very quick and easy to display the data for each of your populations, but these tables are in a format where the data can be easily graphed as well. In order to graph the data relating to a population, highlight the full table itself and drag it into a table folder. You will see the table name will automatically rename the table folder. And now, if you click on the Graph tab beneath the table folder, the graph will open in the workspace. Graphs can be formatted by clicking on different components of the graph, such as the bars, the axes, the labels and titles, or the words in the corners of the graph window. And this will open the corresponding graph formatting panel located to the right of the workspace. Renaming the graphs will enable easy identification when it comes to adding graphs to a report in DocLogic. To perform a statistical test, click on the Analysis tab under the Table folder. Click the Groups to Analyze and choose the type of test from the drop-down menus and the result will be displayed in the window to the right. And at any stage, click on the Table folder to view the data table contributing to that particular graph. Back in the workspace, I can import data saved in a CSV file by right-clicking and choosing Import Data via CSV. I can also export the entire spreadsheet by choosing Export Table. And this provides an option to save as a CSV file or a .xlsx file. As mentioned, graphs can be formatted using the different formatting panels located to the right of the workspace. So click on different components such as the legend, titles, axes, labels, or the words in the corners of the graph window. Click on the info button at the bottom right hand corner of the graph window, showing which components can be clicked to open a corresponding formatting panel. Via the right click menu, additional workspaces can be added or cloned, and new table folders can be added to existing workspaces. The formatting or appearance of the graph in GraphLogic will determine the look when it is imported into a report in DocLogic. So here we have a graph with blue and red groups displaying a legend and with the x-axis labels at an angle. Now if we go to DocLogic, choose the GraphLogic tab and open the folders, we can click and drag the graph onto the page. And you can see the appearance matches that in GraphLogic. The same formatting panels that we saw in GraphLogic also exist in DocLogic. So click on the different components of the graph to continue formatting and editing, and any changes made to the graph in DocLogic will be updated on the graph in GraphLogic. The data table can also be imported into the report, and again its appearance will match that in GraphLogic. Finally, I will describe how to import the main statistics table from GateLogic into a report. So once statistics have been calculated, and viewed in the View Statistics tab, click on GraphLogic, and from the Statistics tab in the File Navigator, drag the statistics into the workspace. Now create a new table folder, and then drag the selection of statistics that you want to display in the report into the new table folder. And any formatting performed in GraphLogic will be carried over to DocLogic. So now, to add it to the report, Drag the corresponding table folder onto the page.